Yeah. All right, and here and we what's go. Gonna, what's going to happen? This is uh, once again remake of Bracket. Oh God, I, I always forget. I think this is Bracket G. Yes, this is Bracket G between the uh, Carbon player on the upper left hand corner, Akros in the Steampunk Warthog, and the Green player in the bottom right hand corner, Zernitra in the Star Neo. This is the first semifinal match of the Top Gun tournament for Air Mech, and the winner will be dubbed the Top Gun by me. Uh, not necessarily by anyone else, but uh, that will be a title you can hold forever, and it might be one of these players here, Akros and Zernitra, remaking this game um, on a different server. Hopefully the pings will be okay. They look fine for now. Um, let's see if they, if anyone decides to open differently, if anyone decides to, uh, you know, to maybe approach differently. Maybe Zernitra will go for mid this time. He went with that weird cheese on the left side uh, that really, really wasn't successful because Akros decided to go, uh, you know, bunkered, creeps, defense first. Um, you know, typical would be going straight for mid. Even in a 1v1, that's pretty damn typical, but it doesn't look like either of these players are doing that again. Um, Zernitra again going for that close with one Dillo. And uh, Akros again sending out a lot of rebels to take this close, so it's pretty much playing out very, very similarly to last time. And oh my God, Zernitra is doing the exact same thing, just a little bit faster this time. Oh, and he's dropping the soldiers at Akros is close, so he's able to uh, take this outpost. I don't know if he'll be able to hold it. Uh, oh man, and Akros now going with the rebel. It probably will go neutral. Oh uh, yeah, one bulb up left, and no infantry spam by Zernitra. One is coming out, but uh, those though, yeah, it does go down to neutral. And now Akros dealing a lot of damage here. Uh, puts a rebel at the front door, Harassing. killing a money maker. Yeah, um, killing two money makers. Oh man, that is huge. Um, one money, uh, two money makers, and uh, just for the price of one rebel, I didn't even didn't really think he needed that rebel because uh, Zernitra didn't really respond to him. Um, Akros takes this outpost, but with a bunch of a uh, bunch of units over here for Zernitra, he might be able to actually do quite a lot of damage. Um, this outpost goes neutral one more time. Oh, oh Zernitra, Zernitra gets Zernitra. finished off. That neutral seeker was still there, was still firing at him, and Akros will probably be able to clean up the rest of the green units over here. Zernitra still coming back to respawn um, with four creeps. Akros has is going to be able to take this outpost and just needs to drop, distract these units and finish them off. And now Zernitra's plan has once again been shut down. Um, oh, I think Akros... Oh no, these are just wandering creeps. Wandering creeps making it all the way to the right side. Uh, <laughs> that's kind of interesting. I don't know if wandering creeps make it all the way to the left side, but if they don't, they should because that's pretty imbalanced. Um, Zernitra now going to try to take this bottom, um, this bottom neutral one. Uh, stationing Moneymaker already before even taking it. Does have four of oh, three bulbs up. Akros now working on mid, not going with the same kind of attack that he was doing before, trying to get that bottom close. But uh, at this point, Zernitra is still again really behind. Uh, <laughs> Akros is making a lot of a lot of uh, progress towards getting that mid, and again dropping some creeps over here. Uh, not not zero bulbs up like last time, so we'll be we'll be preventing Zernitra from taking this outpost one more time. More rebels coming out for Akros. Surprise, surprise! But uh, let's see if uh, Akros can actually really use these um, the same way that he did the last time. Gonna be able to snipe this money maker without a doubt. Even if he doesn't, even if Zernitra saves it, there's nowhere to heal it up. Uh, oh, actually, four bulbs do go d do go up. For, uh, for Zenitra, he, so he actually is able to take this outpost. Uh, it might go right back down because Akros' fire is so strong. And the, those rebels are actually firing in. It does go back down. And Akros just causing so much trouble for Zenitra. Poor guy can't take his close outpost. And, um... It, and Akros just killing quite a lot as well. Um, Zernitra come back with four soldiers, so this will probably go to Zernitra now. I doubt Akros is going to come back with any more, but now again, Rebel spamming. Uh, has a lot of Rebels at that left outpost. He might be able to do the same kind of send that he was doing that last time, but instead from a different outpost, uh, maybe mixing it up so Zernitra won't be able to scout it the same way. Um, and now Zernitra with four creeps. Does see that there's three bulbs up, so he can't do what he was planning on doing before. Decides instead to go with uh, the defense with these creeps. Akros not able to snipe that moneymaker before uh, Zernitra is able to get it and uh, now just trying to run away from oh gets that kill in the air against Akra so what will Zernitra do with the, these few precious seconds uh, it's gonna do front door damage does see that there's a lot of rebels there so does go around I might have gone with a money maker myself but instead he is going to attack the fort um, and actually does get a rebel 
and Akroz not able to save that second ripple. That 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 respawn delay is pretty horrible. I've had actually a few bad experiences with that respawn delay recently, uh, and it just is is really really killer. Um, it's 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 something that they put in, I guess, to fix a bug, but it was kind of a way around the bug rather than actually fixing the bug. Oh, Zernitra lifts up. Oh, I'm not really sure why he decided to do that. Uh, he could have just walked the entire way back and uh, got maybe a little bit more cover uh, from his units, and uh, now loses another money maker queuing up a couple T45s. I'm a little bit surprised Akroz decided to leave there instead of trying to snipe a another Moneymaker or Dillo or T45 because I he had plenty of life, plenty of energy, and Zernitra was still respawning. But now Zernitra putting down a lot of defenses at his, or more defenses at his fort, needs to rebuild those Moneymakers, not quite doing it yet. And now Akroz, a lot more Rebel spam. I, I, I predict the same exact thing. Okay, and he is sending out not the same amount of numbers as he was doing before. But I think he's going to send out from that left side as well, which has quite a lot of rebels again. And the one thing I want to say right now, Akros is doing a phenomenal job, and you can see he's doing a great job because Zunitra is placing so many units around his uh, fortress right now. He has four T99s, excuse me, T45s just sitting around with a lot of dills at the front door. So he's investing a lot of upkeep just in the fortress itself, which means Akros is doing a phenomenal job harassing across the map. Yeah, his his fort harass has been really, really great. Uh, you know, forcing him to allocate the units over there, and uh, that that is pretty much why Zunitra is not able to move out, but he has to stay back. Um, all of his credits are invested in defense, and all of his powers invested in in defense as well. Although he does have 19,000 credits, um, he is going Dillo, so he is a little bit, a uh, little bit, uh, you know. Star for build time? I don't know if that's really a, a, a thing, but uh, yeah, he has to wait for these dillos to build. They take forever to build still. I think they were actually just buffed to 7 seconds versus 8 in this patch that just happened. Um, and, here's another, and here's another rebel wave. I don't know, is that what we're calling it now? Rebel waves? Um, you know, why, why not? The top and they're, to the right. Yeah, the Akros just wave. send, send, send. Um, and, and they're going everywhere. I don't know how effective they'll be in certain places, but it'll definitely cause so much havoc that it'll be hard for Zunitra to keep up with all of the you know unit sniping that Akros is doing with his Warthog. Yeah, and that Warhog just, you know, ripping apart these Dillos. And I almost want to say that Zunitra might have a little bit better job with Akros's build if he did Longhorns, just because if you want to do that tank push, you know, uh, your numbers in Dillos is not going to outbeat the numbers in Rebels, so sometimes you just got to go with a little bit more brute force. Yeah, that and the fact that Rebels have heavy armor and Dillos have median damage, as opposed to the Longhorn that has light dam or that has heavy damage, and they'll be able to do the full extent of their uh, weaponry, you know, against, uh, against the Rebels. Um, and we kind of saw that w with Wolf Cub in previous games uh, when, when Akros and Wolf Cub were playing, but, uh, you know, th that that really didn't really pan out the way that, uh, that I, 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 wait, I forget, did Wolf Cub win that? Oh, no, he did win the first game, but he lost the next two, so the second game, um, oh yeah, the second game, they actually just went straight up Rebel spam, but um, Zernitra might have been better off going with Longhorn. For a kind of a multitude of reasons, I don't know if he's used to Dillos. I would really, really like to understand his reasoning behind going Dillos instead of Longhorn at this point, especially because he knew that Wackeroz, um is going to do this crazy, you know, rebel spam thing that he always does. Um, maybe he just didn't. Maybe he's one of those guys that just doesn't want to counterpick, even if he sees, you know, even if he sees the opponent's loadout. And uh, that's that's pretty honorable if that is the case. Um, but I still would really like to to, to know why Zernitra took. Dillos instead of Rebel, uh, instead of Longhorn. Of the, yep, I completely agree. So Akaraz, you're doing a lot of time right now where he's just, he's being safe but aggressive at the same time where he's always making sure every outpost that he takes has plenty of Rebels surrounding it just to prevent any uh, drops that Zernitra can do. So, you know, at the same time being extremely aggressive but using those units to be s extremely safe with these Rebels really doing uh, two roles with a lot of numbers. Yeah, and he's, it's pretty much um, do, yeah defending and attacking at the same time because they will eventually be used to go out the way that we're, we've been seeing this entire tournament where Akroz sends them all on capture, gets surrounds everywhere. Uh, Zernitra now going for the island. Um, he uh, has been able to take it. He will probably be able to keep it. Uh, he needs to put down more money makers down there though. Um, and Akros taking a quick look at the front door. Probably not going to go with an attack, but I, I would really like to see him again do the thing where he just goes from post to post to post. Sending, sending, sending rebels. And he is already sending the rebels that he had at his mid. But look at all these dills coming right now from Zernitra's 4.30 going to meet right in the middle. Um, I don't know if these Rebels are actually going to uh, survive this, because the Rebels are going everywhere, the Dillos are going straight up, um, and this might be bad news for Akros. 
but now Akros has already sent the Dillos or the Rebels from the top, so they will probably neutralize that close, um, that right side. Uh, the Dillos here for Akros. Oh my God, Akros ripping it up with his Warthog. Uh, will probably be able to finish off a lot of these Dillos. Um, in the meantime, Zernitra desperately trying to, de to defend against these uh, Rebels here on the right side. Um, has enough units probably to actually hold there, not not keep the outpost not neutral, but he probably has enough to hold such that his units will come out on top. And Akros still trying to deal with these uh, with these uh, with these Dillos now bombing bombing down so we probably will be able to eventually get these killed pretty quickly especially once they reach the fort and start focusing on the fort instead of on Akros. Akros can just land and fire because they aren't uh, oh well he's doing air to ground but definitely fended off he's that attack booster. exactly oh he does oh okay I didn't even realize that um so uh, now Akros with three bombs, gonna go for the Zernitra's front door or a moneymaker. Uh, yeah, decided to go for a moneymaker instead. And running out of energy, will lose, th lose those boosters. But the boosters were pretty uh, beneficial to him in the last couple, uh, you know, last couple seconds. Honestly, they, you know, the in air mech, you really, really need to have every second count, and uh, even a few seconds worth of booster might mean the difference between victory and defeat. Now Akros dropping more um, creeps, and Zernitra just having to deal with every single move that Akros makes. Every single move is very very calculated every single thing Akros does forces their nature to react and that's exactly how you want to control the match yeah, Akros doing a phenomenal job, and he's using every unit to its full potential, which I think is really incredible. You know, before you never would think a rebel could be used for this much. Like just for the boosters itself, he made sure he applied the boosters to carry an extra bomb so he could defend against all those rebels. So he's yeah. really using every unit to its full ability, which is pretty crazy. Um, and to be able to have that kind of awareness in the middle of a game that's such a high-paced, uh, you know, hectic game um, like Airmic, uh, it's really, really impressive. And I do admire all these players that really do such, uh, you know, achieve such high skill um, in air mech um, <laughs> that I could definitely wouldn't be able to do myself. More rebels dropped at the front door for Akros. So Nietzsche doesn't really have to do with that. Light damage is not very threatening, and his deals will be able to finish it off as well. Um, but, uh, oh, okay, so it is, I didn't really pay attention to that, but it is a uh, halftime heal slash credit boost. So uh, Zernitra firing at Akros's, uh, uh, Akros's fort, Akros firing at Zernitra's fort. So they are pretty much going to deny each other of credits about equally because there will be constant damage from each of these players and uh, Akra is actually almost going down but finishes off that T45 right in time and now starts to regen his health yeah, and now that the health is auto regenerating, he's doing a lot of damage to the front door. Getting that oh, level getting a level up after timing. getting pinned down oh, man, from Nietzsche. That was, uh, yeah, they are going to eventually take down, take that out. <laughs> the uh, full heal on level up. Uh, it's coming with some of the upcoming changes that James has announced on the forums, and uh, Akros getting away scot-free there, not getting finished up by Zernitra. Zernitra didn't follow him back to his post, even though he had really low life. Uh, that's a little bit surprising to me, but uh, Zernitra spent the extra time re-socketing his moneymaker, bringing units out. Um, now has five goalies in his build queue, and Akros doesn't have any goalies. This is where it will get a little bit dangerous for Akros. Um, it is quarter three. Zernitra has been able to hit level eight, so I don't know if Akros is actually going to be able to survive a wave of goalies, um, especially if Zernitra decides to push with some Seekers. The uh, last time, you know, Akros was able to just bomb, 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 shoot at the back, but uh, if Zernitra does push, uh, there is not going to be too much that Akros will be able to do. He will have to be more reliant on his units. Uh, if that happens and now oh, already three goalies are built a uh, fourth one is almost done and a fifth one is on its way uh, Oh, and Zernitra actually has more at that front door So I, I, yeah, I don't know gonna have eight, He's gonna have eight Goliath on the field uh, in the next 30 seconds, which is gonna be huge And that's the one thing with the rebel spam. It's a very nice early game But once you begin to have a lot of big DPS units and a lot of heavy uh, armor like Goliath have Rebels aren't as aggressive as they are in a normal game. Yeah, I mean Akros was able to make it work for the most part previously because he's able to snipe out so many units and he didn't really need to deal with uh, you know a large mass of high DPS units like that like a lot of Longhorn or something like that um, oh and getting blocked by that rock has to reposition here um, but yeah he didn't really need to uh, deal with so many high DPS units because his harass was so good he was able to snipe so many units out now does scout that all those goalies are coming for his mid uh, now again queues up yep, and boosters and bombs Booster bomb. let's see yep, if this will be enough though because goalies are really really high dps and those bombs have been nerfed 
uh, since, uh, you know, cluster bombs were taken out. So let's see how effective this is going to be. I would still like to see Zernitra push with a little bit more, um, you know, with Seekers um, as well as goalies. And uh, Akros actually, I don't know if he got the back of that that that, that goalie, but I think he did. Um, I don't really doubt Akros' ability to, to pinpoint precision place bombs. Um, but these these goalies, none of them are smoking yet. That front one is still in good condition. Um, I would like to see Zernitra maybe... Uh, oh, he is Mass Command selecting them. He's going to have them stop here here at this at this um, center outpost at the mid um oh man this this might actually work really really well i don't know how across can actually defend against this yeah, it's going to be really difficult. And, and and the one thing, you know, Zunisha would have had better off if he would have pushed Web Seekers as well. But, you know, Akros with that Warthog really needs to start doing some damage to these Goliath, which he can. I mean, he's already taken down um, two Goliath, working on a third one right now. And if he continues to do this, uh, there goes the third one. Akros now working on the fourth one here with that Warthog. It's really putting out a lot of damage. Yeah, and again, that goes back. To, oh, Akros got finished off on the ground by that, that goalie. So Zunisha might actually be able to take this outpost and hold it. So uh, this is kind of is a salvation in this game right now not very very not uh, the same as the last game um, and Akros right now took all those rebels that were up front and there now you have a big rebel push going there Zernitra almost going down if Zernitra goes down that's going to give Akros a lot of time to get back this mid but Zernitra does retreat in time Akros is actually the one really low on health as well so even Zernitra might have been able to just circle him and kind of hover over him uh, but now the rebels have reached the mid but only a few select rebels are going to stop because there's only like seven or eight waypoints here at the far mid um, and actually Akros has a lot of a uh, Oh, actually, Akros has finished off the majority of the goalies here. Zunitra with a lot of creeps, but it's still not enough. Those rebels are furiously firing in and keeping that outpost neutral. Um, and now Zunitra repositioning these goalies back facing the post so Akros can't snipe them from behind. But more rebels are coming out. He has to deal with quite a lot to defend. And uh, I don't know where he's going to... Where is he going to choose to go? Akros again firing at those goalies, but this time forced to fire at the front. Um, those those rebels are still here at this uh, at this bottom outpost. And Zernitra now with more more creeps. Let's see if he can actually take and hold this outpost. He has a lot of defensive soldiers in queue. Uh, three bulbs up. Oh, three bulbs up. One too low. Um, and now Akros. Yeah, oh, Goliath going yeah, down. another Goliath. So and more rebels even coming for Akros. Uh, and at this point, it's just it's just really really hard to uh, deal with all of these rebels um, I don't know how good they are in terms of HP to cost but I know that they are crazy good they're not I don't know if they're the best or whatever but uh, I know that they are really really good in terms of that so uh, oh and Zernitra oh, again wow. mistransforming oh, oh but I uh, was able to finish off Akros there um, Ak Akros transformed again I guess he was afraid of Zernitra chasing him which is definitely understandable because he was a Neo um, so he did decide to transform and Zernitra finished him off on the ground now Zernitra might actually be able to take this middle outpost there are no more carbon units um, and Akros is still here uh, well, he came back that here hog, though. That, war that warthog there, is, you know, is vicious. And almost going for that third Goliath if he can get to the other side. Oh, oh those Seekers are Now Seekers going down. Uh, uh, Akros going down. And now these, these Rebels getting affected by the stasis. Zernitra really, really needs to drop more units. Reposition these goalies so the Rebels can actually get finished off here. There, if there's no more Rebel threat from Akros, then uh, yeah, Zernitra is just going to be able to uh, hold this mid. Get it really, really well surrounded. And uh, another Rebel push with a lot of heavy Dillos and goalies surrounding is not really going to be that effective from Akros. Across. No, Should it's not. That, that, that warhog, that warhog right now is really just laying down the heat. And, you know, four seconds taking out four dills, which is definitely a lot coster, uh, more cost than these rebels. So Aquas, what he needs to do to win this game is he needs to continue to do this rebel spam and continually draw Zernitra, which he was doing across the map and not just concentrate in a single place. If he does it efficiently, yes. He If he does it the same way that he's been doing, um, but Zernitra is actually, I would say Zernitra is adapting fairly well. Um, uh, you know, not to the point where everything's been countered, but uh, he is definitely getting used to defending against this massive amount of rebels. Um, Akros is, uh, uh, oh, okay, another goalie goes down. Now Zernitra is kind of screwed. Uh, he really, really <laughs> needed to keep, you know, at least one goalie alive to tank a bunch of damage, but that last goalie goes down, and it's just wave after wave after wave after wave after wave after wave of rebels and it's just way too much for Zunitra to handle at this point a and Akros again doing harass um, I don't know if you can really call this harass if you're just straight up attack in the fort uh, maybe if he was going for money makers yeah but he is going for the damage um, and uh, not going for money makers or for a unit snipe so now uh, Zunitra still hasn't been able to gain control of mid just because of the sheer amount of rebels um, over there it's just way too much for him to handle um, maybe if Zernitra was a hog as well, he might have been able to, uh, you know, 
ripped through those the, those rebels the way that Akros is ripping through his Dillos. But uh, now Akros claiming this middle for himself. How only one green Dillo left. Um, it does go back down to neutral, but just still more rebels Infantry coming. Spam. Yeah, and and uh, Akros. Well, this goes to no one quite yet. Still two green bulbs. Still neutral. Um, but if you take a look at the units surrounding, it's just carbon colored. No green and Zernitra now. Oh, he's going seeker spam right now. Uh, that's a little bit interesting. Um, it might be effective if uh, he did if if Akros didn't have so much here already. Um, but it will definitely kind of uh, mess with Akros and might be able to even focus him down over his outpost. It will, and I agree with that. I just I, I really think Zernitra going back to this. You know, I think he needs to select at least for game two against Akros. He yeah. needs to select something different than Neo. Yeah, and you know, he, you can keep the same units, just the Neo is not something, especially on these large maps, the Neo's not going to help you. Yeah, and he might want to reconsider using Dillos as well. Um, and honestly, if he wants to just straight up win, he might want to just go with Rebels also, defend against Rebels. Um, that might be the smart way to do it. I, I don't know. But, uh, you know, if he uses Longhorn, he might have a better shot. I'm not really sure. Um, I haven't really and analyzed the implications of, you know, counter Rebel spam. There's actually quite a long thread on it. Um, and... You know, no one's really come up with definitive stuff quite yet. I am, and just because no. I mean, this 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 tournament and Akros's performance is pretty much concrete evidence that something needs to be done about rebels. Rebels and bombs. Yeah, exactly. He, he literally, I, I guess he pretty much went. Um, rebels are kind of OP. Bombs are pretty OP. Let's take both and make it stronger with boosters. So, uh, Zernitra yep. actually oh, almost getting away with that cloak. Deciding to lift off, but running out of energy does get finished off in the air by Akros. That was actually pretty crazy. Yeah, and Akros has been trying to... Um, he, he has been talking about this recently on the forums and at least within Archetype Chat. He's trying to prove that, you know, something needs to change within this game. Because if you could be a challenge with just four of your eight units and the loadout, is there something unbalanced, and that's what yeah. we're seeing right and now. And two Rebels. of those units are passive. You know, boosters are just, they just make you a little faster and give you a little more carry capacity, and uh, money makers are money makers, so it's really just Rebels. Uh, rebels and bombs for defense, for the most part. Bombs and Rebel wall for defense. Uh, it's a little bit crazy that he could do what he does with what he has in his loadout right now, but uh, yes, it just, just no, something needs to happen, um, and I would prefer something happen soon, just just because uh, this might break matchmaking, honestly, right now. This uh, everyone, if everyone becomes aware of this, uh, matchmaking might just uh, hey, let's make rebels and just send them as fast as we possibly can. Spam, spam, spam. Yeah, spam, exactly. Spam, spam. Who who can click the uh, the button faster with the Y key? Yeah, know? exactly. The problem is a lot of times noobs send out units right when they make them, so it won't break low-level games. It m probably will break mid-level games, and it will probably make it devolve into rebel spam versus rebel spam. Yeah, and point. that's and that's the one and that's the one thing. Like I'm not saying Akros is not a skilled player because by far, in my opinion, he's probably one of the top yeah, five or correct. ten one v one players. But what I'm saying is, it doesn't take too much to spam rebels. Exactly. In terms of just building them. Sending him, building him, sending him. Yeah, exactly. He didn't. He doesn't really need to think hard in a game that is supposed to be, you know, action RTS, where the S stands for strategy. So, um, I, you know, even though uh, I think this probably can't be pulled off by someone without decent micro. Um, if you just have decent to high level micro, then uh, this this strategy is pretty much good against anything uh, anything that comes your way. Uh, we have seen balanced loadouts against uh, against Akros, um, you know, when Wolf Cub was fighting him, and uh, now Zernitra with a pretty balanced loadout as well. Just be I don't know what specifically is the worst deterrent here um, for uh, for for Zernitra in terms Akros of like Akros getting amazing level ups. Oh yeah, really really lucky. But that is over ups. though. He is max level right at this point, um, and Zernitra Nitra has actually been able to clear mid and has three goalies there um, and I guess that's kind of what we were talking about earlier when um, when it hits later game. Uh, I'm sorry? Oh, I was going to say, he hit, all of his goalies are going to go away. Oh yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. exactly. But that, you know, that really, really helped him in, uh, you know, retaking this, not necessarily retaking, but clearing yeah. this mid. Um, yeah, I mean, it. he doesn't have control of the bottom anymore. It's really fully bunkered, actually. That's pretty crazy. Um, but we are already in overtime one. Zernitra and Akros just furiously fighting over this mid outpost, and Zernitra just not stopping uh, the pressure, but uh, you know what? Akros isn't either. He's just continually bringing rebels out. This outpost will go down to neutral. One bulb up left, 
And uh, I don't know, at this point, it's going to be the same old, same old, except now there are high level creeps for the last few minutes. And maybe that will I, I, affect it greatly. I, I have to give props to Zernisha right now. His gameplay from the last half of last game to now, he's definitely adapting. And that's the one thing you want to see with good players is their strategies adapt even mid-game where you didn't see any Seekers coming out. Now you see, you know what, if I begin to push with Seekers right away, I'm going to be a lot more aggressive and scares Nishiro away. Yeah, he, he definitely use, have, has been using a lot more Seekers than he did in the last game. Um, a, a little bit of a problem is a lot of those Seekers are stationed at that fort. Um, he is moving out with some Dillos. He is he's sending those Dillos to the close. I don't know if they're actually going to work. Uh, you know, again, Dillos versus Rebels, not that great, um, but we will see. Akros has been able to surround this mid fairly well and actually taken under his control. Has one bunker to infantry. Zernitra really, really low on health. Uh, oh, Akros did catch him. Let's see if he can finish him off on the way out. No. Oh my god, right before he got to that fort. That was oh, so right freaking close. Door. Yeah, and right at the front door. And Akros and Zernitra dropping the, uh, the O underscore O. Super surprised. Um, are those Dillos working for Zernitra? Actually, they are working. They have cleared a lot of the units over here, um, but Akros. Just got a lot of damage on Zernitra's front door just now, and um, yeah, maybe he can actually even finish off Zernitra just with Rebel, 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 just straight up from his mid, um, but he's not going there yeah. yet. He is still poking, prodding, and, ki and sniping units out from under Zernitra. Uh, Zernitra was able to retake this bottom outpost, but now his top defense is really, really thin after Akros just killed two of his units yeah. over there. And, he and here we go. I think we're going to see a fast push wide here just because Akros was at the front door, saw nothing defended there, and I think this is where Akros say, okay, it's time to get dirty at the main base. And we once again have Rebels going all over the map. Uh, Rebels going to the right side. Rebels going to the front door. Zernitra with a few Dillos defending at the front door. He does have three down. That's probably enough against this number of Rebels. Um, but uh, once again, Akros with that Rebel spam is not necessarily looking to do damage, but he's just using them to overwhelm Zernitra. Get, uh, you know, get them everywhere on the map. Use them as both distractions and uh, to actually gain from them from whatever new outpost so they neutralize, and uh, frequently they do do full surrounds on outposts, and um, you know at, at the very least one outpost out of the maybe three or four that they'll actually go to, and that's one huge advantage of what Akros is doing right now. More pressure going down on that bottom outpost. The right side has been neutralized. A couple creeps are going to walk in. More rebels coming over, but they are probably going to get it finished off by those Dillos. Akros and Zernitra now battling out here down at the bottom. Uh, I don't. Uh, he, Akros did get. Sp uh, pinned down on the bottom here, but oh, Zernitra really low on health. Oh, but Akros didn't decide to try to finish him off. Really, really close to his outpost, so that's probably why. Uh, but more creeps, more rebels coming out from Akros. Akros never, ever stopping sending out rebels, which is a little ridiculous. Um, and uh, now gonna... Uh, no, no, I thought he was gonna be able to take this outpost right when I saw it, but uh, no. He just, just nope. once again, just sniping more and more units. And, you know, in that hog, that's... that's, that's just enabling him to just go anywhere he wants, kill one or two things, and leave. Um, the, I know the Hog recently has... I think this latest patch, uh, what happened was they uh, they reduced the movement speed for the Warthog when it's out of energy. But uh, the way that Akros is playing, he's doing... He's managing his energy extremely well. He has this bottom outpost one more time, dropping defensive infantry, um, and uh, relighting those bulbs. Zernitra now coming with Adillo and a few creeps, re neutralizing this outpost. But Akros says, okay, the outpost is neutralized. I'm just going to kill everything around it and that's pretty much what he's going to do. Um, just more and more rebels coming out again. I cannot believe how effective this is. It's a little bit sad, actually. Uh, we are in overtime too and Akros has decided to move out. There is a lot of... Def yeah, uh, not too go. much... Yeah, there's not too much defense on Zenitra's front door, but uh, at this point the bleed will definitely be enough to actually ev ev eventually finish off Zernitra um, after Akros puts down whatever damage he can. Uh, yeah, more rebels... Akros right now doing harassment at that front door, <clears throat> taking those dillos, and these rebels are going to surround the fortress at all sides and uh, do a lot of harassment and damage. Yeah, a lot of DPS going down um, by just by Akros is pretty much most of it. Uh, Zernitra trying to deal with the massive amount of rebels on the front um, but that leaves Akros sitting there free. No Seeker going down from Zernitra and Akros does transform right away and gets away from uh, Zernitra right when he tries to defend. And uh, That's taken out a lot of his life. Zernitra it has about a third of his life, maybe a quarter and it's really just a matter of maybe two minutes or so just 
just from the bleed, but I'm pretty sure Akros is just going to continually spam, 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 um, and not necessarily spam rebels, but uh, just go to that fort, attack from the side, attack from the front door, wherever he can, wherever he can find an opening, and oh, does get pinned down, so will be finished off here by Zernitra on the ground, does get cornered on a rock, but once again, he's just way too far behind to really do anything about it. Zernitra taking two Dillos, probably going to, oh, no, no, just going to go to this close. Um, it, it, he's not panicking. Um, a lot of people do desperate drops on, during overtime too when they are starting to lose. Uh, but Zernitra, you know, keeping a level ahead, realizes that he can't just go straight to Akros's front door and attack. And uh, now, uh, now trying to retake this bottom outpost and the right outpost. Yep, and Akros, you know, continuing to do harassment, even though it's it's overtime too, three minutes left, uh, the front door is being damaged, the fortress is going down, Akros could probably just start doing some hero hogging at the front door on the side and take out the rest of this uh, health. Yeah, fortress. wherever he can find a hole, that's uh, that's pretty much where Akros is going to go. Uh, there is a seeker on this right corner over here, but Akros, uh, Zernitra is not repositioning it and uh, does pin down Akros on the ground, actually. Uh, probably will be able to finish him off Akros. Oh, but Akros just... Takes the rest of that damage and gets this, um, gets this victory again.